I'm Donnie, by the way, from Elevate Yourself. It's a YouTube channel. It's been really great to follow you and see all the changes you've made with the Polish team. This is your second year with the Polish team? No, third year. My <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's my third year. Oh, yeah. third year, okay. It's being my third year. Yeah. Great. And we bought, you know, Poland has always had the, the size, the physicality, the struggle to put it together. And ever since you took over, it's been a really great rise. And I think medal contenders for sure for the upcoming Olympics. I think. So, what for you? What has been the the change? I know that the the system is much faster, but I feel like technically it's a lot more accurate. So, how have you helped the Polish women's team? I guess evolve. Thank you. I don't know what to say honestly because when I mean I, I don't think we did anything particular from a technical point of view. As you as you say, I I think that the Polish school has a kind of good level of technique yeah since years and years ago and yeah. you know as you say probably they they weren't able to put everything together in the yeah. past years yeah. but at the same time there were kind of a good group of talented girls and uh, both probably just uh, you know a new way a new style a new atmosphere without doing something crazy but yeah just uh, showing that we could do something together and we got some good results in these two years and we're happy about that. Yeah. We try to, to, to keep growing. For sure we want to try to, I mean, to arrive as far as possible. Yeah, okay. And then the new system, what was that change? Because before there was a very, you know, a very high ball with the fastest system. What was that like trying to teach that to the post team? But honestly, like I told you, I, I found uh, uh, so different different attackers within this team because if you consider Ukashik is a player that plays a really quick ball, yeah. but she was already doing this, and uh, we played many. Uh, I, mean, I mean, most of the time in the last two years, for example, with yeah. Rujanski, that is not a player that plays a very quick ball. Yeah. And so I'm just used to to try to catch what are the characteristics of the players and try to organize them. Uh, in the best way that we can. Yeah. Uh, this. All right. Well, it's been very effective. So I'm also a coach too. What is your? Uh, it's pretty easy to understand from the question. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. Um, how do you best connect with players from different cultures? Because you know everyone's different. So how do you specialize in that? Uh, I think that at the end, you know, we have this volleyball language and. Uh, Okay. Feelings that we share in the court that are more or less the same, beside of you know the, the, the difference of culture, and then uh, with Poland, it's it's good because we are European teams and uh, our culture is not that far. Some of the players they played in Italy. Yeah. And either I can say that Polish players are the ones that learn Italian as well as I could oh, yeah. see, uh -huh. and so you know uh, there is kind of mixture. Uh, and um, it's it's easy, in my opinion, to connect with them. I have had, uh, I mean, it, it was much weird when I when I was in Korea, for example. Yeah. But at the same time, we found a way, you know, when yeah. uh, we share the same goals. And uh, yeah. at the end, we, you know, we are not. Uh, I, I used to say we are not sending shuttles on the moon. We are just vulnerable. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, very true. You know, like you said, simplicity sometimes is the the easiest solution. But I think as coaches, we like to overcomplicate things sometimes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Because it looks that, uh, you know, we need to be good in something. We, we need to put our touch. We need to, yeah. uh, there is something that maybe we can do and that can make the difference. And most of the time is not what we can do that can make the difference. Yeah. They can do and we have to just be careful in letting them perform as best as they can. And I think every player really appreciates a coach that trusts them. Yeah. to just do it so I think, think I think so and then maybe you know it's because I've never been a player before so oh, there okay. are feelings that I I don't know very well uh, from the court okay and this is why I have this kind of big respect for uh, them in the court and I try to be as helpful as possible but I never have this that 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 is the spot of the protagonist they are the protagonist yeah. I have never been protagonist in yeah. and so I, I don't even care about being more protagonist than that. Yeah. Well, it's really great to know. I think it gives a lot of inspiration to people who love volleyball, but feel like I can't be involved because I'm not a player. Oh. But you're a great example. Um, John Dunning from Stanford University, wow. never played volleyball either, but was one of the, our nation's best coaches. Wow. 
So another legendary coach who never played. So. No, but uh, it, it's exactly like this. I never, I, I never did one practice in Monte Cask. Uh, I cannot jump one, you know, <laughs> this like this. I cannot jump. And, uh, but uh, of course, uh, I put some passion in this. I started when I was yeah. 16, being in the in the court yeah. with good coaches. Luckily, yeah. And more, more or less every day for many hours. So yeah. the, the, that has been the yeah. the way. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Coach. Thank you to you. Good luck with the tournament. Take care. Thank you. If you want to recover faster from playing sports and training, then I highly recommend using Ghost Sleeves products, which is what I personally use when I play volleyball and workout. Ghost Sleeves provide light compression and support for your joints and utilizes their patented adhesive pattern that operates like reusable kinesio tape. So your joints can stay warmer in the gym, feel more recovered from training, and play through nagging injuries with confidence. Use my discount code and link below to get 15% off all Ghost Sleeve products so you can start feeling better in the gym and on the court. Well, thank you for taking the time to interview. Uh, just a couple questions. I noticed that the system for the Polish women's team has been a lot faster compared to previous years. Um, what's that adjustment been like for like a faster uh, offensive system? Well, I think the char characteristic of our players, no? that now there, uh, there are a lot of players that like this fast ball. Also our quality in pass, I think it's better than in past years, so it's easier to, um, to create like these situations. Yeah. Says that uh, this was a good idea to play fast, yeah. so we, uh, we will try to continue this. Yeah, definitely. Um, today I saw a lot of attacks in the seam, yeah. just from stacking the middle and the outside. Very yeah, effective, sure. um, especially with the size of Poland. Always been very tall players. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I noticed a lot of players wear Adidas. Uh, you wear Asics. Yeah. So, what is your preference, and why did you choose to wear Asics over Adidas volleyball shoes? Uh, well, first of all, like Asics is my ambassador, like uh, personal sponsor. Yeah. And then, like I'm playing from years in Asics, and like cannot imagine even like to, to change them because I feel so great yeah. and uh, every year like when they change the new model uh, they're amazing and I feel so good so yeah. safe so um, I'm luckily I can use the, my favorite shoes here because of course like sometimes in national team you know like you are uh, pushed to play with like the sponsor like the national team shoes yeah but uh, likely I can I can play with uh, with ASICs that's great that they do that because I know yeah. I like Asics because for me like I think the shoes are more important, the most yeah. important because it's like so personal and like I, I, I feel like the player need to feel like 100% uh, comf comfortable and like uh, sure and like uh, don't think about if they have pain on the foot or no. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and some players like a lot of cushion, some don't like cushion. Exactly. Some like a lot of traction, yeah. some like so that's really great that they allow you to do that. Yeah. Uh, I do have one more question. Um, what is the, the main, like, how, it, how, how would you describe the Polish system, both defensive and offensive, in, in like, a general terms? Oh, my God. I know it's a pretty complex yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. I feel like our coach, uh, Stefano, uh, it's great with that. And I feel like our block and defense system, it's, because, like, it's good because of the, our service. I think we are pretty good serv uh, server. Server, you yeah, say? Yeah, server, yes. Yeah, yeah the, the team, yeah. Uh -huh. And our, uh, so it's uh, easier for us to like, maybe put like double block. Yeah. And I feel like our, um, like all players like need to like, are good to read the situation, you know, so yeah. they're going in the hole, in the block hole, or like, yeah. uh, just like that. So I feel just basic thing, but made uh, in good way. Yeah, so good, hard serving and good blocking. Exactly. And then killing it with speed. Yes, exactly. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Really appreciate thank you. It.